complete this day of action with the men's and women's 100 meter final starting with the men then and uh, well Riku Ilaka of Finland is a DNS that's unfortunate because he'd done really well to make it through to this final so starting off on the inside with Monet of Spain and Wolf of Italy German under 23 200 meter bronze medalist Larsen then won this title on home soil two years ago Jeremiah Azu, who was leading the under-20 final in Sweden a couple of years ago and pulled up, injured, but a lifetime best in the semi-final, 10.19. Then Joshua Hartman, 10.14 at best. Sergio Lopez of Spain, PB in Castellon, recently of 10.27, so a little way off some of the others that we've seen. And then Brandon Mingeli, his... Uh, First championship vest for Great Britain, and he's made the final 10.29 in uh, Stratford recently for the Ryan Freckleton coached athlete. So, really interesting final that we have here. Is it going to be Larsen against Azu, the Swede who is pretty close to his national record 10.18 that's been held since 1996 by Petter Karlsson? But hey, Azu is close to the Welsh national record. 10.11, Christian Malcolm set at the World Championships in 2001. The men's 100 meter final. Monet Wolf, Larson, Azu, Hartman, Lopez, and Mingeli. Azu with a good start, and Larson now has to try and chase him down in the blue and white for Britain. It's going to be Azu who takes the title, and there's time for him to celebrate. It's not as fast as that rapid semi-final, but 10.25 for the Welshman. And he seals it. It's redemption after the drama that happened in Borås two years ago. Pulled up injured while leading the European under-20s. But uh, one age group up from that, he's beaten the defending champion Henrik Larsson who is more than a tenth of a second behind. And in a 100 metre race, that's a pretty good margin. Well, once again, Jeremiah Azu, he looked terrific in the semi-finals when he clocked that 10.16. And now he's the European under 23 champion. Well, didn't have the best of starts. It looked as though it was Monet and Larson who were the quickest away. But once again, there's a certain Usain Bolt aspect to him. Never going to be the quickest out of the blocks with those long legs. But once he gets motoring, really starts to eat up the ground. You see Monet on the inside. Quick start as well. But now from the halfway point in the race, it's Azu. Just pulling away from the best of the rest. And he's got the luxury of being able to just gesticulate about seven or eight metres from the line. Just say, I'm the boss. I'm number one. Yes, and Jeremiah Azu, who was a, a talented footballer as well, and was coached by Helen James at the time, who said, well, you have to choose now between football and athletics, the Cardiff athlete. And, well, he's chosen athletics, and he's won European under-23 gold, and coined by a few people who've been following his career, as perhaps he should be called Azum. The way he comes through with speed in the 100 metres. And he is the European under-23 champion.